Good morning, it is bright outside today. It's just gone past like 8.20. Let's begin now. So I do have an exam tomorrow. Normally I'd be really stressy and like I would have already started revising before nine, but I've had so many exams at this point. I'm just feeling kind of numb to it. I think I've had some like seven exams, but yeah, I never told you what the plan is this week. So the plan this week is three exams. I have one exam on Monday, which is my software engineering exam, a second exam on Wednesday, which is my communications engineering exam, and a third exam on Friday, which is my digital electronics two exam. Hey, Okay, so just checking in, that's annoying, the reflection is annoying. Um, I finished the comms paper and the software engineering paper, so that's pretty good. It's around 2.30 right now. Preferably I'd like to do two more um, software engineering papers because I like to do five pass papers before the exam. So this is Pad K. Nope, that's Isabel. Oh, there's me with my tripod. Um, yeah, this is Pad K. This has all my exam papers. Like, if you're interested and you want to look at my exam papers, you can go on Pad K and look at them. We're back. Nice and fresh. Just watching this video that has no relevance to me. Hey, so today I'm my exam, it's around nine o'clock and the exam's at 10 and half an hour before the exam at 9.30, they send us a link like in an email and they upload the link on the website, which you can click on, but then that's password protected and they send you the password at 10 o'clock. It's 25 minutes before my exam. I still haven't done any more revision, but on the website, you just click on time limited remote assessment and then Tripoli are doing this power exam today, but we are doing this object orientated software engineering thing. So um, this is the submission link when you're ready to upload. You can upload, but obviously I haven't done the exam yet, so there's nothing for me to upload. Um, yeah, anyway, and here's the file. Basically it opens up and then it's password protected and then they'll send you an email with the password. I've completed the exam. It was really long. Like it was two hours long. So I was like, I've got time. I can like go a bit slowly. I was wrong. I didn't have time to like do all the questions fully. Like I had a bit for everything. I just thought I would be smarter in terms of like getting marks just to like outline functions and stuff and not necessarily put like every detail. But that was like the loudest gardening work happening for an hour in the two hour exam. It was annoying. I tried to put my rain sounds on to drown it out, but I could still hear it through the rain sounds, so it was really annoying. But other than that, like I definitely think I passed the exam, so I'm cool with that. So like post-exam, there's obviously a lot of chaos. So I'm just gonna tidy that up and then objectives for that objectives for today were do my exam and then I'm gonna do two control papers. I'm gonna do one on a video call with Matt now just to like get us to do it and then um, I'll do another one afterwards. I didn't manage to finish the whole past paper. I'm just so exhausted. I think I did about 30-ish percent of it and it's like 10.30 now. I'm just so tired. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Hello, good morning. Um, it is 8.55. I woke up 15 minutes ago, but I'm here. I'm ready to start. Yesterday I just had like a really bad evening. It really gets in my head sometimes how much work I have to do just to like stay afloat and there's other people who like do like not as much work as me just to like do better than me and that just really like upsets me sometimes but I chose to be here that's how it is anyway today on the agenda we have as many comms plus papers as possible since my comms exam is tomorrow and I'm still finding the papers extremely difficult and then digital is also a thing that's happening on Friday hey guys update so I'm feeling a little bit screwed. I'm not really sure what the plan here is because like I really can't do many of these questions without looking at the answers and then even when I look at the answers I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna finish this past paper which by the way is the same past paper I was doing yesterday um, and then I'm going to go through the notes and then hopefully like now I've done the past papers I'll know what to look out for in the notes and what I need to understand and then I don't know if I should try and do another past paper or I don't know if I should go like first year strategy when like I was so behind like there was no way I'd be able to answer the paper 
So like I've just worked on the, the first question, which is 40%, and then you just try and do the other parts as well as you can, but like you just work on like getting that 40% so you pass. I found the exam very difficult and I'm not sure I passed but I have another exam to worry about so no, no good worrying about that one. At least now I get to do this though. Oh, not pad K. No today, I just woke up. Do you see that guys? Those lights over there, that's the big city. I'm gonna go there someday. Hello everyone, it is Thursday. I have my digital exam tomorrow. I managed to finish two past papers yesterday. And now like today I'm probably gonna try and do just as many as I can. It's 9.15 now, so let's get started. It is 8.15 right now. I have one more pass paper to do and then I will have done my four target pass papers for today. Crazy. So yeah, let's just do it and then go to sleep. Hey, so um, I finished the pass paper about an hour ago. It's um 11.15 right now. Um, I finished going through a few more notes, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna go to sleep now. I'm not feeling too nervous about tomorrow because I just think as you get towards the end, you just wanna like get them over with. But yeah, I left some notes to go through tomorrow morning but that's tomorrow's problem much like the laundry next to me oh and if anybody was wondering you know i've done some fresh pics around my temple so that's great i'm gonna put some cream on that right now actually it's about 45 minutes until my exam this morning my last one of the week <laughs> And I know yesterday I said I wasn't feeling nervous, but like now I am feeling nervous and I don't want to do it. It's 9.30, they send us an email at 9.30 with a link to the exam, um, which is password protected. I said that before. It has like all the information we need to write on our front page of the exam. Okay, bye. I'm gonna do my exam. Hey, it is Saturday. I look, wow, I look really like fresh. Uh, anyway, so it's Saturday. I've got lots of work to do, obviously. Yesterday I almost got a bit complacent. I was gonna watch a movie last night, but then like I realized it's really just not the time to be watching a movie. It's the time to be like studying. So yeah, I did the past paper yesterday with Matthew on the video call, and then I did another one afterwards. Yeah, and the one I did on my own was like so much harder and the questions were so much longer, but this is irrelevant and nobody cares about that. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just gonna try and do as many past papers as possible today. <laughs> as many past papers as possible. <laughs> and then see where that takes me. And maybe I'm gonna call Isabel. I didn't see her yesterday, so I'll go on a video call with her, hopefully. Hey, so it's Sunday. My last exam is tomorrow. I'm really excited, but I just kind of worked out that I wasted the whole day yesterday doing these past papers that were like way easier than the actual past papers that we have because our lecturer has only been teaching the course for two years. And so I was doing past papers from before when she was the secondary marker, but still like the papers are much easier because they were written by someone else. And then I also want to look through the notes now because I feel like I can't just co-spy on doing loads of past papers since they're really different to what she's going to set tomorrow. Anyway, so then I also want to go through the problem sheets because I know she's written the problem sheets, so that's like more her style of questions. So there's eight problem sheets, two past papers, 400 pages of notes. Hello, I have one more lecture. I'm on lecture 15 and then I'm just going to start doing problem sheets. We'll see, but also I need to do the 2019 pass paper. Uh, I'll do the 2019 paper first, and then the problem sheets. Okay, gotta go. Hey, it 
is the morning of my last exam today. I'm kind of excited but kind of sad also. Yesterday I stayed up revising like an hour later than normal. I was on the video call with Isabel and I was just like enjoying revising, which is so weird because I have never felt that way ever in my life. And I was doing the problem sheets and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna have a chance to do these problem sheets ever again. Anyway, it's about 50 minutes until my exam. Just enjoying a nice vegan breakfast. Anyway, I'm just gonna look at some problem sheets now before the exam and pray that everything goes well. It's time to write my little cover sheet, but you know, we've done this 10 times before, literally. I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys this, but I always listen to harp music before my exam. It just like relaxes me, gets me into the exam mindset. I submitted, it's over. I actually submitted like 10 pages, which is I think the most I've submitted out of any exam. But yeah, I just like uploaded it and now I'm finished. It was pretty good, um, except like 10 minutes into the exam, the gardeners took their cue to start doing every single type of loud garden work outside. So um, that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I'm done. I'm happy. It was a good last exam, apart from like, I'm really salty about the gardeners, but whatever happens. Also like just, there's chaos. There's so much stuff. It's not just chaos there, there's chaos with the tabs as well. Yay. So we just came back from a walk and I'm suddenly feeling like super tired and I was just gonna like have a little nap because I don't have anything else to do. But I just remembered, so I bought this iPad in January and I've only been using it for like uni work, studying and stuff like that. And I also use it to make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos. But I can now, because it's the summer holidays, I can now download Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, the YouTube app, like all of that on my iPad. I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long to do this. So just before I end the vlog, I just wanted to say there was a time in the week where I was feeling so bad about how I was working so much and I still felt that I really wasn't gonna do like exceptionally well in my exams. And honestly, that's such a self-congratulatory thing for me to be doing. Um, like basically saying like, oh, I work so much, but like it's so unfair. Other people don't work as much as me and they're like so much smarter than me. When like, there are so many more things that are unfair going on right now. By the time I post this, I'm sure the voices that are speaking up right now are gonna be so much more louder, demanding even more change. So I know most of the people who watch my videos are university students or just young people in general. And often we can foster these sort of bubble communities where we're surrounded by people who have all the same opinions as us. So I know you guys all share the same concerns I do for basic human rights. So I just wanna encourage you to step out of this like community and bubble that you have and meet different people and try and talk to them and show them that the issue that is happening right now really is an issue. To my fellow students who are still revising for their exams, I know it can be hard right now to focus because the news is so distracting, it's so disturbing. Obviously at first the global pandemic and now this systematic racism that is literally causing people their lives. It's okay to feel upset and distressed about it. That is human. I have definitely felt that way this week. You know, like if you're not upset, then obviously you don't understand what is happening. You know, I'm rooting for everyone whose voice has previously been ignored. And I just wanna encourage you guys so much to talk to people who have a different opinion to you because that's the way that we can make real change. I obviously have not been very active about this recently, just been like, doing my exams and reading the news where I can, but right now I finally have the time to like sign petitions, donate money, support black owned businesses. So I'm gonna do that like right now. If you are still watching, thank you so much. Um, if you come to the end of this video, I know it's probably quite a long video. So thank you very much. I'll see you next time. Bye.